Welcome back to the Nortex Mining YouTube channel. Today's going to be a little bit of a back and forth between the computer and the setup here for the Freedom Fight Gateway and the indoor CBRS small cell. Um, I'll link this in the description. They've got some really good walkthroughs and guides here that are really straightforward and I'll, I'll just walk you through uh, what each one goes through. Um, so let's go ahead and get these things unboxed and then we can come back to this uh, gateway setup uh, because you're gonna wanna get the gateway setup before the small cell. So let's get that started. All right, y'all. So we got our hardware in from CalShip Connect. Ordered Friday, shipped Friday, arrived Wednesday, Today's Thursday, and it's time to get this put to work, earning us some mobile tokens. So let's do that. All right, so we got everything unboxed. You got your Freedom Fight Gateway, stock antenna, power cable, you are gonna need one more ethernet cable uh, because this does not uh, have Wi-Fi on this thing. So you're gonna need an ethernet cable to go from this WAN port to your router. And then uh, the ethernet cable that comes with the FreedomFi CBRS is gonna go from the WAN port here into the eNodeB port here. So I'll link the uh, setup instructions in the description box. They're easy to follow. Let's go ahead and go to those. We're back at the computer. Here's the gateway setup guide. Um, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to navigate. Um, starting with step zero, download the Helium app. If you're watching this, you probably already have the Helium app, but in case you don't, go ahead and download it, create your wallet save your 12 words or 24 words, uh, whichever app you end up downloading, uh, the new Helium app um, will give you a 24 word uh, key phrase. Um, the, the blue older Helium app uh, will still work and it'll still let you get your um, hotspots onboarded, uh, but I think that one will give you a 12 word. So keep those safe. Don't ever give those to anybody ever like ever, ever. Um, yeah, so then um, after that, you can go ahead and um, I think in the app, you um, don't need to do anything just yet. Um, first, uh, make sure you know where you're gonna put the gateway, uh, as silly as that kind of sounds, have it strategically placed close enough to power, close enough to ethernet and um, close enough to you know your final kind of destination where you want to have it set up uh, just for easier um, running of wires and, and actually you know plugging things in easier um, but yeah so steps two three and four are gonna be antenna Ethernet into the WAN port and power so let's go ahead and uh, jump to that video all right so once you find your location, I'd recommend probably, or once you download the app and get your wallet set up, I definitely recommend running all your wires at that point and to wherever you're gonna place your Freedom Fi unit. So after you've had that done, then you can go ahead and start with uh, steps two, three, and four, I believe. Yeah, so antenna, ethernet, power. Let's get to it. All right, so since this is replacing SenseCap 1, we got the three things plugged in. Antenna, ethernet, power. Looks like we got some lights coming on, which is a good sign. All right, let's get back to the instructions. Uh, back to the instructions here after you plug it in. Um, 
steps five, six, and seven, um, pretty straightforward here. You're gonna go to the Helium app. Um, I, this is the blue one. This is a screenshot of the blue one here. Um, so you're gonna hit that plus icon. You're gonna select the Freedom Fi Gateway. It's gonna give you a link that's gonna uh, shoot you to your browser. Um, and you're gonna open that up. You're going to scan the QR code on the bottom of your Freedom Fi Gateway. Um, it's going to, um, after the scan is complete, it's gonna show you your wallet address here. Um, so, Again, I mean, I, I think most everybody's familiar with where to get your wallet address. Um, if you're not, um, here's an easy way to find that. If you don't know how to get your wallet address, open up your Helium app. At the bottom, there's this account tab. You hit that. Then there's going to be a green wallet icon with an arrow going into the wallet for receive. You hit that button and then you can just hit the copy address and that copies it to your clipboard. So then you can just paste it anywhere um, and just double check that that's the same um, address that's, that's in here. It's basically so that they know where to send the rewards. After that, um, it's gonna take, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so for the gateway to come online. Um, depending on your network connection. I think uh, both the times I've set these up, uh, it's been right around five, five minutes. Um, so then uh, that comes online. Um, and then the next screen that your browser is gonna show is to press the power button. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got to go ahead to press the power button. Okay. After you press the power button, you can go ahead and click next here in your browser. Um, it will take, I don't know, maybe up to a couple minutes to authenticate, uh, but this is pretty fast. Um, then you can go ahead and, and click the link gateway button and it will take you back to the Helium app. You just follow the instructions here, hit authenticate. And uh, this part, is going to push the transaction through um, to add the blockchain or to add your gateway to the blockchain. Um, I believe after this, it's going to ask you to set the location um, and you should go ahead and, and set that where you want it. And once you do that, I mean, you're basically just uh, waiting for the uh, blockchain to validate the transaction. So from here, I would probably say, once you update the location, give it about 15 minutes or so, and then we can move on to the uh, CBRS small cell setup. All right, now we're ready to move to the small cell. So obviously this is a whole nother video, but placement is gonna be very important for the future and for capturing uh, data traffic. Uh, so we'll go over that in a separate video, but for now, the Genesis rewards are just being rewarded for having it online, having a heartbeat. So let's go ahead and do GPS, Ethernet, and then power. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so one other thing to consider here is this doesn't have a stand. It doesn't come with a stand. It comes with something to mount on the wall. But for the meantime, I mean, you're probably just better off leaving it face down or, you know, face up like this. I'll try and see what other solutions I can come up with to kind of stand this thing up, maybe like a book stand or something like that. But uh, if you're just wanting to have it on a desk or, you know, something like that, it's gonna be a little tough. This, it's a little heavy. It's about, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven pounds, somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing plugged in. All right, so we're all plugged in now. Uh, the lights are coming on. I'll definitely do another snippet to show you guys uh, all four on. The cable management's a little tricky. Uh, I thought I was gonna need this longer ethernet cable and that was gonna be an advantage, but look how terrible that looks. So, um, the rest of the cables, I kind of just try and route them, you know, along the baseboards, try and make sure they're out of the way. 
but let's see if I can maybe find like a smaller ethernet cable for just for this little run. Uh, I'd imagine in the future, this is going to be a lot easier. The longer ethernet cable will, will kind of take care of this or, you know, I'm not going to have it right here, right next to each other. So, um, that's going to be it for the setup. Let's wait for it to come up. All right. Quick update on the status of these guys. I let it sit for about five hours and I still wasn't getting this blue LTE light to come on. So it, it had been about five hours, maybe coming up on six and I decided to power cycle everything. So I just unplugged everything, plugged it back in. Then I was able to see the gateway on the local dashboard and maybe about 30, 45 minutes after that, uh, I did get the LTE light to come up. The sync light means that you have a GPS lock, which is super important. Uh, so, um, after, like I said, after about maybe 45 minutes, uh, I was able to get that. And now we are earning mobile tokens. Bit here, guys. Um, this FAQ on freedomfi.com, I'm gonna link in the description. Uh, it's got quite a few answers as far as, you know, troubleshooting questions, CBRS questions. Um, I think by far the one that comes up the most is uh, when is Helium 5G coming to my country, Canada, Europe, um, Asia, wherever. Um, but the answer is the CBRS and Helium 5G is US only because this uh, citizens broadband radio service um, cleared part of the spectrum for commercial use. And, and that's only in the US. Um, so yeah, here you can kind of see, um, previously I think it was for military use only, and um, under the new rules, carriers using CBRS might be able to deploy 5G mobile networks without having to acquire Spectrum licenses. Um, I, I think this is a whole nother video as far as buying Spectrum goes and, and how the old way of uh, building telco networks used to happen. Um, but this is this is the difference. Uh, this is the differentiator here. Uh, why they're able to do this in the U.S. is because they have the RF spectrum available for something like this, and that's not the case for all these other countries. So um, definitely check out uh, the FAQ. It's got a bunch of uh, you know gold nuggets in there. Um, so um, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Um, I'll see you on the next one. In the meantime, keep your costs low, keep your spirits high, and keep mining.